Lisa McLeod's a wonderful advocate for the industry and I'm proud that she's leading up in our cabinet uh, uh, through the uh, reinvigoration of this sector of our economy. London, Elgin uh, and the Middlesex area are very important areas in our community, in our province and in our country. And as you see today here at this local museum, uh, we, are, we are steeped in history. And I think it's appropriate the day after Canada Day to uh, celebrate our history, learn from our history and build on a brighter tomorrow. COVID-19 has been catastrophic for our entire province, our entire country, as we deal with the worst global pandemic of our lifetimes. And it has been uh, obviously a very big public health crisis. I like to say that it has a triple threat. So first and foremost, we are dealing with a public health crisis. Secondly, we are dealing with an economic crisis. Uh, that's undoubtable. Third, however, is what my suite of sectors will be dealing with for a very long time. And that is the part of the triple threat that will take our recovery a little bit longer in these suite of sectors. That's the social threat. The social threat that will include the consumer behaviors and sentiments that will get people back to their pre-COVID-19 routines. And I think that's going to take a little bit of a time. I often say that our ministry, the Ministry of Heritage, Sport, Tourism and Culture Industries, is responsible for a spectacular double bottom line. And think about the Elgin County Museum as being part of the important cultural fabric and social impact of this community, while at the same time employing people and creating jobs. What does Ontario mean to you? Not just three months down the road, not just a year down the road, but 18 months, five years, 10 years. What do we want to fight for as Ontarians? What kind of communities do we want? We made a decision as your Ontario government to continue to flow money so that a year from now we will be in a position to support our artists, our athletes, our archivists, our archaeologists, our creators in each and every community across Ontario. And that's why today I'm here with Minister Urich to announce that your Ontario government is investing over $18.5 million into this community for tourism, culture, sport, and heritage. Ladies and gentlemen, these have been difficult and tense times. We've never seen a more unprecedented and uncertain period in our lifetimes, which is why your Ontario government remains committed to ensuring that the quality of life, the cultural fabric that we all rely on, is maintained and supported. These tourist attractions, these cultures, the, the arts, uh, usually run on a shoestring budget and a little disruption can really affect uh, how they operate and, and a loss of any of that in our community uh, is just not acceptable. It's, it's something that I think is, is part of the heart and soul of every community is how we celebrate arts and culture and how we can draw and work on our history uh, through our tourism. So I'm very proud to represent such a strong and diverse uh, community. We also recognize how important these sectors are to our broader economy, which is why we will continue to support them now and well into the future. I'm grateful to be here the day after Canada Day. I understand that these have been very difficult times, they have tested us. But myself and Minister Urich have the opportunity through, the minister, through our ministries and through our cabinet to really protect what matters most, and that's why we're here today.